May the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you and your entire family. I want to pray for your life and your family, interceding for your children and declaring powerful psalms. For each psalm, I will say a prayer, and you can rest while it is done. Feel free to lie down and allow these psalms to bring blessings to your life and your family. Agree with me in this prayer, for these are psalms of spiritual battle and victory over the enemy. The Bible teaches us that the Word of God is like a sharp sword, and when used with faith and in connection with the Holy Spirit, great miracles happen and spiritual chains are broken. If you are facing fear, anxiety, or feel bound to something from the past or present, know that this prayer will bring life and peace to you and to your entire family. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we now ask for your protection over this home. We declare that your mighty hand is upon each person in this house, over every corner of this space. We consecrate this place so that peace and joy may dwell here and so that you may strengthen this family. We rebuke all negativity, fights, disagreements and opposition and proclaim the blessing of the Lord over this home. I prophesy, Father, that everyone here will sleep in safety, for the Lord sustains this house. We declare that the mighty hand of God is over this place and that the blood of Jesus covers and protects the roof of this home, whether it be a house or an apartment. We pray, Father, declaring that no harm has the power to act or disturb the sleep of those who live here. In the name of Jesus Christ, may this home be completely protected by the Lord, guarded day and night by God's mighty angels. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy, Lord, your provision over this home. You are our shepherd, and we shall lack nothing. We declare, O God, that abundance, prosperity, and financial victory are entering this house. We acknowledge that you are the provider of our home. Your word tells us that you give to your beloved even as they sleep. Therefore, Father, I believe that tonight this person will be blessed by you. Their projects, plans, connections, sales and businesses are being released by the Lord as they rest. We place everything in your hands, Father, 
and ask that you bless the work of this person and all the members of this household so that they may be fruitful, yield good results, and bring joy to this family. I declare, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the blessings and promises of the Lord are upon this home. This environment is blessed by God, and the spirit of destruction, poverty and bankruptcy has no power over this house or this family, for they are guarded by the God of providence. As it is written in your word, O God, we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, and all other things will be added to us. Therefore we rest in you, our God, the God of our salvation, the owner of all silver and gold. We believe you will bless the fruit of our labor, our businesses, our coming in and our going out. We declare that everything we have and all that belongs to us is blessed and protected by you. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare our faith, as your word teaches us, as a shield to neutralize the attacks of the enemy. We now cancel every cursed word, every contrary prayer, envy, and any forces directed against us, our home, and our family members. We also reject all defamation, lies, slander, and negative prayers. We declare null every work of the enemy against our lives, and we affirm, Lord, that it is you who covers and protects us, preventing the enemy from having power over us. In your presence, Father, we reject every cursed and negative word spoken against our lives, every curse cast over our family, business, work, marriage, and children. We believe in your goodness and that you fight for those who walk with faith and integrity of heart. Lord, you know our innermost being, you know our rising and our resting, so we ask, O oh God, that you bring justice to your servants who walk with integrity. Lord, confound our enemies by your power. May your light be upon us, guiding us, directing us, and delivering us from all evil and from the schemes of those who wish to entangle us with words or lies. Guard us, O Father, and deliver us from all harm, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people, 
for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to blot out their name from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked, the foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray to you and ask that you deliver us and protect our home from everything sent against us to hinder our progress. We now block, by the authority of Jesus' name, every illness intended to affect our bodies or those of our family members. We declare, God, that you are the God of deliverance, the one who guards our steps from evil and the attacks of the enemy. Protect us, Father, from thefts and assaults, and deliver us from all evil and ill intentions of anyone. May you go before us, opening paths and protecting us, May your angels be both ahead of and behind us, forming our escort. We believe, O God, in your divine protection and your supernatural power that guards and protects us. Lord, may the enemy not touch our physical bodies or those of our family members, for we are guarded by you. We cancel, in Jesus' name, every generational curse and inherited curse, declaring their downfall in our lives. By the wounds of Jesus, we are healed, and divine health dwells in our blood, cells, and every part of our body. We declare that it is the Lord who rescues and guards us from all affliction. Your word assures us that we will not suffer even financially, for those who fear you will lack nothing. In this home, Lord, we revere your name, and so we declare prophetically that nothing will be lacking here. This home is blessed in the name of Jesus. As the psalm says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. He set my feet on a rock and established my steps. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who puts his trust in the Lord and does not turn to the proud or to those who follow lies. Many, Lord, are the wonders you have done for us, and your thoughts cannot be counted before you they are more than can be told. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but you opened my ears, so I declared, here I am, I delight to do your will, O my God. I have proclaimed righteousness and faithfulness in the congregation, Lord, and I did not hide your loving kindness and truth. Lord, we acknowledge that we are poor and needy, yet you care for us. You are our help and deliverer. Do not delay, O God, in Jesus' name we declare that you extend your hand over this house. Though the enemy tries to attack and confuse us, Lord, you give deliverance and guard this home and family. We declare, Father, that your blessings are upon this house, and the prosperity of the Lord reigns in this place, in Jesus' name. Those who in any way attempt to disrupt the peace and harmony of this home will be confounded, for this house is protected by the presence of God. We invoke the presence of the Holy Spirit in this environment so that his peace, joy and prosperity fill every corner. We declare that no evil will have power over us and that all injustice will fall, for the Lord is our justice and our protection. Nothing will prevail against this home, for the Lord guards and protects us. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. 
for I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Saviour, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you. God will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask forgiveness for all our sins. We acknowledge that Jesus died on the cross to save us, forgive our sins, and justify us. We ask God, that you forgive our faults, imperfections, haste, and the words we spoke incorrectly, words that hurt and saddened you. Holy Spirit, purify our lips and our lives, removing from within us all that does not please you. We pray that the joy of salvation remains in each of us, reminding us that the most important thing is to have Jesus in our lives and our names written in the Book of Life. Lord, we love your presence and desire to walk in your ways, to live under your light, and to be in your company. At this moment, we pray that you bring salvation to our home and transform the hearts of those who have drifted away from you, who in some way have been blinded by the enemy. We cry out for their salvation, and we ask that you bless them and touch them with your power. In Jesus' name, amen. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Lord, we ask that you take care of the safety of everyone in our home, both as we leave and as we return, and that you guard us on every journey. We know, O God, that you are working in all areas of our lives. You see what we cannot see and hear what we do not hear. Therefore, we declare our total dependence on you, for you are our God and our help. It is in you that we wait, for our strength comes from the Lord, our joy comes from the Lord, our gifts come from the Lord, and all blessings come from you. We place ourselves before you, Father, assured that you are the one who protects us, that you are our shade at our right hand. We know that the Lord will keep our soul from all harm. Amen. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat. For he grants sleep to those he loves. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that the Lord is building our house, 
honoring our work and our sowing. Surely, Father, we will reap much more than your servant Isaac, who sowed and reaped thirty, sixty, and a hundred times more. We desire, O God, to surpass this harvest, for we are your children, called to prosper and advance in this land. The Lord is guarding and building our lives, so we will not fear. We know that the Lord watches over us as we sleep, and that your eyes are constantly upon those who fear you. We take hold of your word, which affirms that blessed is the man who is filled with your inheritance. We are blessed fathers and mothers, for so says your word, and we believe, O God, that your reward is with us and that your mighty hand is upon us. Now, Lord, may the presence of the Holy Spirit fill every space in our home. We offer this prayer to you in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Glory to God.